time to play Family Feud. This is Joey Batone from Universal Atlanta Resort in sunny Florida. And now, here's the star of our show. Give it up for Steve Hobo. Feud, everybody. I'm Steve Harvey. We got the Wilson family playing against the Russell family for a chance to win a lot of cash and a brand new car. So let's get it on. Give me Seamus, give me Cecily. Okay, folks, here we go. We got the top six answers are on the board. If a 30 year old man had a tree house, name something he'd have in it. Famous. TV. <laughs> TV. A lazy chair. A lazy chair. <laughs> you control it, Seamus. We're gonna play, Steve. He's gonna play. <laughs> Caitlin, how you doing? I'm great. If a 30-year-old man had a tree house, name something he'd have in it. Food. Gotta have Lots food. Of food. Carrie, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. What do you think? A bar. A bar. <laughs> A bar! <laughs> Is it Jenna? Jenna. Hi, Jenna. What do you do, Bob? I'm a newspaper reporter. Okay. If a 30 year old man had a treehouse, name something he'd have in it. I think he'd have a, a woman. <laughs> The sexy reporter says a woman. Yeah! A woman slash stripper. Wow. How you doing, Mom? I'm fine, thank How you. How you doing? What do you do? I just retired after 40 years yeah. of working. I've been retired two weeks. Two weeks, so how's it been? You like it? Uh, so far, so yeah, I've been busy. You've been busy? Yeah. Are you busy watching TV? Only family. <laughs> 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 this is a smart lady right here. Well, hey, Marlis, what do you think? I think he'd have, like, sports memorabilia stuff. Sports memorabilia. <laughs> you got two strikes. If it's there, Seamus, you're still alive. If it's not, Wilson family can get ready to steal. If a 30-year-old man had a treehouse, name something he'd have in it. A bed. He'd have a bed in there. Why not? <laughs> That was a good answer. Wilson family, here's your chance. I just need an answer. If a 30-year-old man had a treehouse, name something you'd have in it. Video games. Video games. <laughs> Video games! <laughs> the Russell family. Wow, let's see number four. Oh, no. Number five. Number six, cell phone. Well, let's move on to question two. Give me Caitlin, give me Danita, let's go. <laughs> Top five answers on the board, ladies, here we go. Name something a pet hamster spends a lot of time doing. Danita. Spinning in the wheel. Spinning in the wheel. Okay. Spinning in the wheel. They're gonna play. <laughs> Tammy, yes, how sir. you doing today? I'm doing great. What do you think it is? Eating. Good Eating. Answer. Good answer. <laughs> Jamie, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Well, name something a pet hamster spends a lot of time doing. I am going to say sleeping. Very good. Yeah. Sleeping. Yeah. No strikes. Tanya, what do you think it is? Name something a pet hamster spends a lot of time doing. Pooping. Good answer. Pooping. <laughs> Cecily, one strike. Name something a pet hamster spends a lot of time doing. Playing. Good answer. Playing. Good answer. Playing. Good answer. 
Two strikes, Danita. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, Russell yeah. family can get ready to steal. Name something a pet hamster spends a lot of time doing. Hiding. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Hiding. Good answer. Oh. Russell. Drink water. Drink water. Drink water. Seamus, you're in charge of the ladies. Name up something that a pet hamster spends a lot of time doing for the steal. He drinks water. He drinks water. Let's see number four. Number five. <laughs> hey, the Wilson family, 92. The Russells got 69. Remember, the goal is 300 points, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Uh-huh. Everybody, welcome back to the feud. Wilson family, 92. The Russell, 69. It's anybody's game. Give me Carrie. Give me Tammy. Let's go. <laughs> Ladies, point values have doubled. Top seven answers are on the board. We asked 100 single men, name something you'd need a lot of if you were dating two women. <laughs> Tammy? Money. A lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. We're gonna, we're gonna play. They're gonna play. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie, Woo! tell me something. I'm gonna say time. A lot of time. <laughs> well, name something you need a lot of if you were dating two women. Excuses. Excuses? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cecily? Condoms. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Right? Good answer. Good answer. Uh, well, I, hey, I, yeah. I know it's a good answer, but you know, we just, you know, family feud. But that's why you're using a condom. Safe sex. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. This is no longer family feud. <laughs> We're playing sex in the city. <laughs> Condoms. <laughs> Danita, <laughs> only one strike. Clothes. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yes. Good answer. Good answer. Clothes. <laughs> we got two strikes, Tammy. <laughs> we ask 100 <laughs> single men this. Name something you'd need a lot of if you were dating. Two women, uh, Russell family, you can get ready to steal. Come on. Energy. Good answer. Energy. Yeah, yeah, man. You need a lot of energy. <laughs> Only two strikes, Jamie. Okay, Tell me on, something you need a lot of if you were dating two women. Come on. Come on. Come on. Credit. Yes. Credit. 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 Yes. Credit. <laughs> Russell family, here's your chance to steal. Shameless. They ask 100 single men, name something you'd need a lot of if you were dating two women. Patience. Patience. <laughs> Number six. Hello. Oh. Number seven. Oh, yeah, I knew that was up there. The Russells, 243. The Wilsons, 92. Steal anybody's game. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Uh-huh. Hey, welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. Give me Gina. Give me Jamie. It's, oh, it's actually Jenna? Jenna. Jenna. Okay, cool. Here we go, ladies. Point values are triples. Top four answers are on the board. Name something you try to avoid when camping in the woods. <laughs> Jamie. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep! <laughs> Jenna. I'm gonna say bear. The bear! <laughs> That's a play. We play. They're gonna play.
Name something you try to avoid when camping in the woods. Sleep. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, you ready? I'm ready. This is triple the points. This is gonna win it. Name something you try to avoid when camping in the woods. Getting lost. Try to avoid getting lost. <laughs> Seamus? The rain. <laughs> the rain! <laughs> That's two strikes. Wow. Already. If it's there, you're still alive, Caitlin. Mosquitoes. Try to avoid the yeah. mosquitoes. <laughs> Carry two strikes. The Wilson family can still name something you try to avoid when camping in the woods. The heat. The, the humidity. Yeah. Heat. <laughs> Wilson family, Snakes. Cecily, right. name something you try to avoid when camping in the woods. Snakes. Yeah! For the win, the snakes. Wow, what was number four? Skunk. Man. I really like that. Nice, baby. I really do like that. Nice family, man. Well, Wilson family, I need two to play for fast money. Let's go. Well, we got Cecily and we got Tanya. We're going for the cash right after this. Hey, welcome back to The Feud, everybody. The Wilson family won the game, and it's time to play... Hey, before we start here, someone would like to wish you luck. You win five games, you win the brand new car right there. <laughs> Tanya, Cecily's off stage. She can't see or hear any of your answers. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Try to give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of anything, just say pass. If we have enough time, we'll get back to it, okay? Then if you and Cecily together put together 200 points, show and tell everybody what you're going to win. 20 You ready? Ready. Okay, 20 seconds on the clock, please. The clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. Chess. Name a word that starts with para. Para, para educator. Name a kind of knife. Uh, paring knife. Name something you'd see on a football field during a game. A ball. Name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. Pumpkins. Okay. Great. Yeah. It's okay. We're, we're gonna get through this. As 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. You said? Your chest, survey said. <laughs> then I said, name a word that starts with para. You said? <laughs> Paraeducator. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Survey says. Oh. <laughs> wow. We got more time. We got more. Then we said, name a kind of knife. You said, <laughs> paring knife. Survey said. <laughs> then I said, name something you see on a football field during a game. You said, <laughs> ball. Survey said. <laughs> 15. Name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. You said, <laughs> pumpkins, survey said. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Let's clear the board, bring out Cecily. <laughs> Cecily, good to see you. Uh, your sister, Tanya, she put up 23 points. <laughs> Hands on your hip, through with her. <laughs> That's the bad news. Here's the good news. You need 177 points. <laughs> you need just about everything there is to get. But guess what? You can make it happen. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. <laughs> you will not hear that sound this round right here. <laughs> Don't even worry about that. 
Trust me, you won't hear that sound. We could have just slid right through that one right there. Because if you hear that sound right there, I'm diving in the crowd. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, are you ready? All right, let's remind everyone of Tanya's answers. Uh, your 25 seconds on the clock, please. Your clock will start after I read the first question. We asked 100 men, name a part of your body that's bigger than it was when you were 16. Your penis. Not so good. <laughs> I said the medical I'm terminology. I don't care what you said. <laughs> Could have said ding ling, winky, any damn thing. What the hell? It ain't gonna sound right. The medical term is almost worse. A slang term would at least be your ding a ling something. <laughs> your penis! Oh. We're, gonna, we're keeping that answer? <laughs> okay. okay. Name a word that starts with para. Paralegal. Name a kind of knife. A, a steak knife. Name something you'd see on a football field during a game. A goalie. Name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. Pie. What? Yeah, look at her answers. <laughs> you think you think that's shocking? <laughs> Where do you see this first one? <laughs> We asked 100 Ooh. men to name a part of your body that's bigger than it was than when you were 16. <laughs> you calmly said <laughs> that. <laughs> Survey says <laughs> number one answer was stomach. All right. Stomach. That was close in the area. If your stomach is that big, you can't see it anyway. <laughs> Then I said, name a word that starts with para. You said, paralegal. Survey said, the number one answer was paragraph. Oh. Then I said, name a kind of knife. You said, steak knife. Survey said, number one answer was butter, butter knife. I said, name something you see on a football field during a game. You said, the goalie. No, I, I meant the goal. Yeah, I know, like, I know, but, but I know, I know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. After number one, it doesn't matter what you say. <laughs> Looking for the goalie, survey says. Oh. Number one answer, yeah. football players. Oh, yeah. Then I said, name a food that often gets judged at a state fair. You said That's pie. The number one. Pie number one was answer. the number one what? answer. All we need is 100 156 people. We can do that. Yes, we can. We Survey can. says. Uh, oh. 83 points. $415. The same family. They're going to take another shot on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey, everybody. We'll see you next time.